Greetings everyone and welcome to another beautiful evening here in Big Fish Bay. We may be a small town, but we have a lot for folks to do here. Now remember, I am the president of Big Fish Bay Tourism Committee. But I'm the only member. Um, so, I'm the expert on all the great things to do while you're here. Say one great place to visit is a Big Fish Bay Rescue Station. Oh, wait a minute. You folks may not know what the Big Fish Bay Rescue Station is. Silly me. I should have told you right away. Um, let me see, how should I describe it? Well, it's like this. Even though the ocean is beautiful, it can also be dangerous. Storms can pop up out there and waters can get rough. That's why we need a life preserver handy. When a district signal goes out, it's up to the people in the Big Fish Bay Rescue Station to go out and rescue people in boats that are having trouble. Folks here sure have been grateful to have the rescue station through the years. Like Gramps, he needed rescuing once. I wonder what Gramps was doing out there when he was getting in trouble. He was probably looking out for that big old fish Levi. I sure do hope Gramps won't be disappointed. You know, everybody needs a rescuing at some point and God is the best person to look to when you need rescuing. In fact, there are some things only he can rescue people from. And more importantly, all of us need to be rescued from the bondage of sin. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. In Romans 7, 24, 25, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. I'm sure I'm glad God loves to rescue people when their lives run through rough waters. Well, everybody, I have to say goodbye for now. Gotta go check on how things are going at the lighthouse. You folks, enjoy your stay here in the Big Fish Bay. I'm telling you, Oliver, everything's going just fine with fixing up the old lighthouse. Agree. It looks like things are going well. I can already see a whole bunch of great improvements. Speaking of great improvements, wait until you see the next new camera system I have installed. Camera system? Now hang on. This lighthouse didn't have fancy cameras back when it was built. Don't worry, Oliver. The cameras are so tiny that nobody will ever notice them. Dexter thought it would be a good idea to have them for security and, um, other reasons. What sort of other things? Grams had me make sure a couple of the cameras were pointed out at sea. He's hoping to catch sight of old Levi, you know. Levi! I should have known. I can't believe you still think you're going to find that fish. He is out there somewhere. I just know it. Well, we are just about done cleaning out that storage closet in the basement. You wouldn't believe some of the strange stuff we found in there. Oh, hi Oliver. It's a good thing you're here. You might want some of these items we rescued. You can have them for the Big Fish Bay Historical Society. Hmm? 
What sort of things do you find? There was this old net. That's the same sort of net I used when I was a young fisherman. Phew! That one still smells like fish. Cross. And then I found these flags, but I don't know what they're for. Oh, those flags are very important for sailors out at sea. They sure are. Flags like these rescued me once or twice. Rescued you? How can flags rescue someone? Those are semaphore flags. People would use them to send messages from one boat to another. I read a book once about that. You hold the flags in different ways to make different letters. And the letters make words. That's how you send messages. Sounds hard. Why don't you just use your phone? Shelly dear, this was... I know, this was before we had smartphones. Well, I remember, there was this one time... Looks like Grams is about to tell another story. Everybody gets comfortable. There was this one time I was out in my little rowboat. What were you doing there? Oh, you know, I was fishing. In other words, he was out looking for... Old Levi? Uh, that too. I told ya. So I was out there in the bay when suddenly I felt the whole boat shake. Then I looked down and noticed my feet were getting wet. Looked like the old boat had hit some rocks and sprung a leak. I needed someone to rescue me and fast. So you grabbed your semaphore flags and signaled for help? That's right. I stood up in that wobby little boat and started spelling S-O-S. I wasn't sure if anyone could see me, but I just kept on signaling. That must have been scary. Oh, it was, until I saw a tugboat pulling towards me. Someone was coming out to rescue me. Who was it? Who do you think it was? You? Yep, it was the first of many times I would have to rescue him when he went out searching for that big old fish. It was love at first sight. It's good to know there are people who love us and will come to our rescue when we need them at most. Yep, and God is the one who loves us more than anyone else loves us. When we need rescuing, we can always pray and talk to him about it. In John 3.16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we don't even have to wave those little flags around to ask God for help? That's right, Dexter, we don't, because God always knows what our real needs are. Speaking of rescuing things, what do you say, Oliver? Are you going to rescue these items we found and put them in a big fish bay historical museum? I will. And to be sure to let me know if you find anything else. Hey, we could even display them at the big lighthouse celebration we are going to have. Now don't get too ahead of things there, Oliver. We've got another rescue project to do first. We still have a long way to go fixing this place up. I guess that's Grandpa's way of saying we all need to get back to work. I think the way you think, Dexter. You can start by showing me those cameras you set up, especially the ones you've got monitoring the bay. There he goes, looking for Levi again. Some things never change, like God's love. <laughs>